So I regret to have to announce that as of tomorrow, our public schools will be closed. Hey, what's I'm up? I'm trying to study for the physics for now, and I literally don't get anything. Same, I'm completely lost in class, honestly. I'm, I think I'm gonna need a tutor. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting a I'm tutor for so a while I'm so over online school, but I haven't seen you in a while. Do you want to hang out? I would, oh. but my mom doesn't let me go out. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Sorry. I got it. I gotta go, but Bye. I'll talk to you see later. You. Disease has been present in our world for thousands of years. Smallpox, the Black Death, the Spanish Flu, AIDS, and now coronavirus. Diseases have broken apart our lives for generations, but this is the first one that our generation has experienced firsthand. How has staying inside and isolation during the pandemic affected your mental health? Um, at first, um, it really wasn't that big of a deal. We just get to stay at home, you know, do work come from your own home it was all right but then it, as time like grew it it really like started to change a little bit i would miss like the school environment i wouldn't talk to as many people as i used to humans are social animals our brains are wired to work with other people in a social setting people work with each other every day whether it's school or their jobs or religion or just taking a walk people do need social interaction without that even today People can become confused and not know what to do with themselves. This can lead to things more serious, such as mental health problems. We conducted a survey that acquired 80 responses, some of which are shown here. These responses clearly depict the struggles that teens face with isolation due to COVID-19. I was anxious and apprehensive about having to stay inside. Um, I think anytime you're being forced into doing something, it creates resistance initially in your mind because you feel like you have no choice and, you know, that can feel suffocating. Um, I've never in my lifetime experienced a pandemic. So like most people, this was a unique period in time. Um, and I think no one knew what to expect or to, you know, going back outside and getting out of the house um, and enjoying life again. And, you know, during the height of the pandemic, when I was really not going out at all, except to like the drugstore or the supermarket, I still felt like I had to go outside at least once a day just to take a walk. Um, it was very hard for me to stay inside all the time. I found that just taking that walk each day um, you know, did wonders for my mental health. What would you say to someone who is struggling with depression because of this pandemic? Um, what I would say is, uh, honestly, just hang in there. P like, it, it's it's going to get better. Like, it's it's hopefully going to end soon. And uh, to other, like, people that are, like, feeling depressed because of it, um, like, say they miss their friends at school, they're going to they're gonna see them again. It's not like... They're gone forever. Like, this is just a temporary thing. And, um, like, maybe you're not learning in school and you're the best of that. Like I said, like, it'll, it'll get better from here. The isolation people change. People's lifestyles change. Every day becomes a cycle. Wake up, school, work, sleep. Wake up, school, work, sleep. Days blend together. Life becomes a chore. People become depressed and may not even act like themselves anymore. Motivation to do well in just about anything drops or even stops completely. People begin to procrastinate just to do nothing. They miss deadlines and overall just treat themselves worse. Despite the hardships that the pandemic has brought upon us, many of us stayed motivated by creating routines, expanding our knowledge, and overall becoming the better version of ourselves.